Welcome to another Keyshot video. We are going to take a look at the Match Perspective tool. So to get started, I will add a backplate within Keyshot. So I will add this dining table. I already have the file downloaded over here, so I will drag and drop that in the main viewport. Now I also want to add a 3D model that will be matched to this image. Therefore, I will go to Models and I will make use of the old iron toy plane that is available on Keyshot platform. So I will drag and drop this, position it within the viewport. And I can see that I have the possibility with the mouse to zoom in and zoom out in order to make the plane a little bit smaller. And afterwards, if I will hold the left click mouse button, I have the possibility to rotate the model like this. And in order to pan the model, I can press the middle mouse button and I can drag the plane to the table. Now, the main problem is that this is, let's say, a manual perspective matching, but we can make use of the match perspective available within Keyshot. So I will go over here to the camera and I'm going to click on match perspective tool. We're going to see that the view will be, let's say, misaligned and now we have to match the bottom axis with the one in the viewport so we see that the y-axis is going up vertically therefore I will select that point position it over here on that wooden frame select the other point and have it match to the outer border of that frame so this will be a little bit better aligned somewhere over here. So this is a three point perspective match. Now we're going to take a look at the X axis and we're going to make use of the table in the middle to do the matching. I will position the point over there and the direction of the axis along the table. So somewhere like this. Grab the other point for the X axis and also position it along the table and we only have to add the z-axis but also keep in mind the orientation so the direction therefore I will grab this point position it over there and afterwards the direction I will position it like this and I will do the same with the other point at the end of the table and we're going to see that now our plane will be matched against that table and we have the possibility to scale the model if you want to let's say that this old iron toy plane is a little bit larger therefore i will zoom out a bit and afterwards i will pan the model and now i can add this to a render i will go over here to render Let's make it a little bit uh, smaller, so something like uh, Full HD in this case. And I usually like to use samples at 16, Ray Bounces 14, Anti-Aliasing 3 and Shadow 3. And I will start this rendering and I will focus on that wooden plane. So the rendering should go pretty fast since the vast majority of the final image will be that uh, reference photo and over here only we're gonna have those shadows and our toy model plane as you can see the render is currently slowly building up and we're gonna see how well those shadows will be meshed also against uh, the table i will let the render work a little bit more until the whole plane will be visible within the viewport So we see the shadow of the plane and the shadow of the other objects. Now the shadow is dropping over here within this direction, while for the other objects the shadows are dropping from the window. So we can also adjust that by going to the environment. You're going to have the possibility to rotate the environment over here so if I will slightly move this we're gonna see how that shadow will slowly move so currently it's positioned like this I'm gonna also move it a little bit more 
until the shadows will be in the back of the wooden plane. So we see it over there. So something like this. We see the direction of those shadows and the direction over there. So slightly a little bit more. So something like this is more appropriate. And now with this change we can go to the final render again by going to the render add job process queue and we're gonna see the final render for this composition it's really important when you are matching the perspective to always take notice of the the light in order to match the shadows within the final render Okay, so if you enjoy this content, I will position a similar video over here to the left and to the right I will position a subscribe button. So I hope that you enjoy this content. Thanks for watching.